Obama tells Iran of historic opportunity. India train accident kills 22 in Uttar Pradesh. Best solar eclipse in years creeps across Earth. The Boko Haram areas retaken in a month. Nigeria's good luck, Jonathan. Claimed responsibility for the attack Ezera Tunisia Museum. Chile's Villarica volcano spews ash in renewed activity. Assalamu alaikum. Here the title. I'm Tanya Akhtar with the Millennium News. Now the details. U.S. President Barack Obama has told the Iranian people that a deal to transform the relationship between the two countries could be within reach. We have the best opportunity in decades to pursue a different future between our countries, he said in a video message for Persian New Year. Six world powers are negotiating a deal aimed at limiting Iran's nuclear activity. With a March deadline near the president concerned, there were still gaps in negotiations but was hopeful. This moment may not come again soon, said Mr. Obama in his message celebrating Nowruz. I believe that our nations have an historic opportunity to resolve this issue peacefully, an opportunity we should not miss. If Iran's leaders agreed to a responsible deal, then the country would be on a path to prosperity, he said. Isolation awaited if agreement was not reached, he added. An Iranian worker at a Tehran oil refinery, John Kerry, in Egypt, John Kerry has represented the U.S. in the nuclear takes. But the president has yet to convince the U.S. Congress of the merits of a deal, and many lawmakers remain opposed to the easing of sanctions. Earlier this month, 47 Republican senators warned Iran's leaders that any deal of Tehran's nuclear programmer could be revoked once Mr. Obama leaves office. The move was condemned by the White House as an attempt to undermine the president's foreign policy. A passenger train has derailed in the northern Indian state of Uttar Pradesh, killing at least 22 people, railway officials says. The engine and two carriages of the Junta Express, which travels between Dehradun and Varanasi, went off the rails near Charawan village. Several dozen people were also injured in the accident, officials said. Villagers, police and railway guards are trying to rescue passengers trapped in the carriages. Images from the scene show mangled carriages lying beside the track. The state's junior railway minister Manoj Sinha said an inquiry has been ordered to find out that caused the accident. Indian train crashed on 20 March 2015. One of the coaches was completely crashed in the accident. India's railway network operates 12,000 passengers trains and carries some 23 million passengers every day. There have been numerous train accidents in India in recent years, killing hundreds of people last month. At least 11 people died after three coaches of the Bangalore Irnakulam Intercity Express derailed in the southern state of Karnataka. Millions of people in the UK and Northern Europe are witnessing the best solar eclipse in years. In a solar eclipse, a swath of the Earth is plunged into darkness as the moon comes between us and the sun. This process began at 7.41 GMT and the deepest part of the moon's shadow touched the Earth's surface at 9.31 GMT. In the UK, the darkness peaked at about 9.35. Experts are warning people not to look directly at the phenomenon. This is because even during the eclipse, looking directly at the sun causes serious harm, but there are ways to watch the eclipse safely, and many people are looking for a chance to do so. Within the UK, those opportunities are heavily dependent on the cloud cover that currently shows much of the country. But from an aeroplane above the Faroe Islands, a, a BBC camera captured the eclipse reaching totality at 9.41 GMT. Total eclipse bellies beds were visible at the fringe of the eclipse when it reached totality. The deep shadow forms first in the North Atlantic before sweeping up into the Arctic circle and ending at the North Pole. The UK will not see a solar eclipse on this scale again until 2026, but the British weather is not being spatially cooperating nonetheless. 
all parts of the UK are in line to see at least 83% of the sun's disk obscured by the moon. The eclipse is a morning show. The exact moment of greatest darkness for UK sky watches will be dependent on the location. Nigerian President Goodluck Jonathan has said the hopes that all territory seized by the Islamist militant group Boko Haram will be retaken within a month. They are getting weaker and weaker by the day, he told the BBC. But the president, who faces elections in a week, admitted the response to the, uh, to the insurgents' initial advance in northeast Nigeria had been too slow. The army has claimed recent victories over Boko Haram in a conflict that has killed thousands since 2000. 2012. Backed by neighboring countries Kad, Niger, and Cameroon, Nigeria's army has recaptured many towns and villages from the militants. President Jonathan's government has been heavily criticized for its failure to end the insurgency. The government has made similar claims in the past about defeating or driving back Boko Haram within a specific period, but these have not been borne out by events. The president postponed February's election by six weeks, saying the armed forces needed more time to secure the country. At this stage, taking a small break in the news, stay here. Information technology, IT. IT is wow. It's, it's stuff your parents haven't even thought of yet. IT is moving, it's mixing, sharing, and more. IT is solving problem, thinking, and processing. IT is making money, saving lives, changing the world. It's a living, it's a life. IT is in your pocket, it's at your fingertips. It's here, there, and everywhere. IT is on CSI. In business, in the lab, it's in the hospital, on the radio, in the movies. Welcome to Concord IT Development. Total IT solution. Our services, web development, dynamic web solution, application development, domain registration, web hosting, network solution. We are available on 37 to 47, 73 Street, Newark. USA. Concord IT Development. Total IT Solution. The Millennium News once again. The Indonesia Museum has claimed responsibility for the attack Jongi Goshti ISO. They claimed in an audio message on Thursday according to the Reuters news agency. Meanwhile, the nine suspects arrested the Tuesday on suspicion of involvement in the attack on the police confirmed that the four of them took part in the country's uh, presidency. Also, the Tunisian government has deployed large cities earlier in the museum has identified the two gunmen attacked the security forces in Tunisia. Their names and Hatim Kakan Yasin Labidi, one of them already knew the intelligence agency's Tunisia authorities said. He did not give any information about them in detail. The Villarica volcano in southern Chile, which erupted on 3rd March, has shown renewed activity. Officials raised the alert in areas near the Villarica to Orange, the second highest and cancelled classes for more than 5,500 pupils. Thousands of people were evacuated earlier this month when it spewed ash and lava 1,000 meters into the air. The 2,840-meter-high Villarica is popular with hikers. Hundreds climbed the peak each summer to peer inside the crater. An aerial view shows smoke and ash rising from Villarica volcano on 18th March 2015. Smoke could be seen rising from the crater on Wednesday, prompting officials to raise the alert to orange smoke and lava spew from the Villarica volcano as soon from Pucon town south of Santiago. The eruption on 3rd March triggered an evacuation order for thousands of people. No one died in the eruption on 3rd March, but there have been facilities in the past. More than 100 people are thought to have been killed in mud flows on the slopes of the volcano during the 20th century. Before heading into the end of the news once more. Obama tells Iran of historic opportunity. India train accident kills 22 in Uttar Pradesh. Best solar eclipse in years creeps across Earth. The Boko Haram areas retaken in a month. Nigeria's good luck, Jonathan. 
claimed responsibility for the attack as a Tunisia Museum. Chile's Villarica volcano spews ash in renewed activity. This was News Millennium. Any news, log on to the millenniumtv.net. Stay here with Allah.